Good evening, I'm Thomas Parisi here for the jail paper in front of an apartment complex that seems all too familiar down here in Troy. Today what we're working on is a story of an unjust arrest. Here's the victim in their own words here on the victim's viewpoint. I'm squatting an attorney and you're going down for harassment. I'm telling you right now, if you videotape me, videotape me, psycho, bitch, and I'll be calling the police! completely violated. Um, what's more horrifying than the act they committed was I had to insist that the Troy Police Department bring her up on charges for criminal threatening, disorderly conduct. Um, they tend to allow her to get away with whatever she does. They're, she claims that she's friends with Jeff Masick. She's also friends with the police chief, Dave Ellis. Uh, there have been numerous police calls to her address. Hi. Hello, Joint Police. How Can are I you? Come out? Yep. Sure, that would be great. Thank you. Um, before I forget, our conversation is being recorded by a yeah, camera, no, and I think fine. by your doorbell. I don't think I want to discuss this. Okay. Are you with Troy? I'm a Officer yeah. Thompson, and this is Chief Ellis. Okay. And we're here on behalf of the uh, Winchester Police Department. Why am I not surprised? So, at this no, point... please, I don't want to discuss this. Okay, well, here. here's we nothing... No, here. we're, we're, we're not going anywhere now. You're going to have to come with us. You're under arrest Wait, what was for violation thing? of a court order. They okay. got a message... And the Winchester police looked at the, the message and oh my God. Oh what God. was said was obviously something, I mean, they didn't know that you were served today. Who did it? Of course they knew. Well, there was no way they could know. We didn't tell anybody and the court didn't even know. How, was, how was the message... No, well, really sure. not we're not yet. privy to those details. We're just here on behalf of the Winchester no, Police. No, no. Listen, I don't want to know the details. Okay. Clearly, if I sent it, I would have the details. But uh -huh. we know what... Well, this is just crazy. Can right. I go so, get my shoes? I so need to... My dog That's fine, but we're going to have to come in with you. That's fine. Are the dogs friendly? I know they're excited. Yeah, they should be fine. Okay, sure. I'm going to be fine. Chief Ellis said he's going to investigate. All right. Well, at this point, what's going to happen is we're going to take you up to the county jail, which is where the Winchester police requested you go. And from there, you can make whatever phone calls you might need, and hopefully they can answer your questions. Again, we're we're only here to assist them. I know, so. I know. I don't blame you for any of no, this. No, no, no. So, straighten out. Okay. Like, imagine how I feel now when I've done none of this, and you guys are at the door to arrest me. I'm not the criminal. I'm not the one that fabricated fake profiles and sent my self-threatening messages like some of the stuff they alleged. And the thing is, you know, if we find out that, you know, because we will look uh, into it. I appreciate if, that. Like, I beg of if you. If we find out that they did it, they, did. they will be oh arrested for false Oh, my God, they did it. I'm going down to jail for it. No. Oh my God, like, so he, here's what's going to happen now. We're going to ask you to come outside of the cruiser with us. And please don't handcuff me in well, the parking lot. Well, no, it's either, no, what we do is you can sit right in the car and then you'll put him yeah, right in the And we'll put him right on the front. Know they're part okay. of the way in on it because Haley's mom and she are good friends. And okay. So we'll do it. We'll, we can do it. We, we'll we can even outside. drive down yeah. the end of the street yeah, here if I you want just to and keep it low profile. I, are you bringing me right to the jail? Yeah. Yes, that is what they requested. And maybe that's... I have a cigarette before I get there. If we go out now, and yeah. we can do that. All right, listen, listen. It's all going to get straight. 
Oh, Hop up. Right. Good job. Yeah. Not them. Don't be angry at them. Oh, I'm already furious. They're, listen, they're doing their job. Like, this is Haley, her mother, and Sean. They're the ones that will be held accountable. But until then, i got to follow the rules. I'm going to call Shane. Yes, I need you to call Shane. Yeah. I already updated him a little bit. But listen, don't worry about me. Right? I'm st- kind of shocked. And I'm not worried. I'm just, just angry. Don't be angry. Listen, it won't help you. They're just going to make you more sick. Yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> it's understandable. We're in no great, great hurry. Okay, let me. Thank you for not doing this in front of people. Okay. It'd be one thing if I did it. <laughs> okay, before we go too far along, I'm going to do what we call double locking those, okay? So they don't tighten up on you. Where the heck is it? Been My kids while. never see me. <laughs> I've never ever been pulled out of my home in front of my children. See, I got mm-hmm. and I'm 56 right. years old. Okay. Just want to make sure they're not going to. All right. Okay? Yeah. Watch your kneecap. Okay. Hi. Hi, Donna. How are you? Good again. Could you uh, step outside for a minute for me? Can you come in? Uh, the dog's going to bite me? Uh, I don't think so. I don't want to get bit. So here's the deal. I got information from Winchester PD tonight that the protection order was violated again. From and, tonight? Yes. From yesterday and today. Aren't they supposed to be investigating it? Well, it I need fraudulent? to... Listen, I'm sorry. I, I, need, I need, need to take you in for violating that protection order, okay? But I didn't violate it. I, the information I got from Winchester PD, I have to take you in tonight for violating that order. Oh my God. Okay. Oh my God. I can't believe it. Why did this happen? It's not fair. There's no way I called her. I don't even know her phone number. Was this a phone call? Did she get a phone call? It would have shown up on her phone. The, it's, the information here said that she was contacted by you. <laughs> Let me read it. Let me read it to you. Like, she blocked her on Facebook. We sent you, Ellis, a, a fucking image of it this morning. If she had unblocked her on a Facebook account, the name. Let, let me read this to you, okay? It said the name appeared on Facebook Messenger. Showed the name of Donna. I can't pronounce your last name. Yes. The message read, "I did not like it when you called the cops." We'll get through all this, and this will all get looked into and, and squared away, but one way or another, it's going to get taken care of. Yeah, we may be in prison. Winchester Police Department. You call dispatch number, ask them to have a Winchester officer call you, and then get an email address. I just want to lock you so they don't pinch on you, okay? And all that stuff. Oh my god, there's people celebrating over this tonight. All set? Thank you. Without a doubt, my rights were violated. Um, there were no grounds for arrest. This should have been investigated. This all could have been prevented. Um, if it happened to me, it could very well happen to you. These are people that know how to play the system. Good evening. Thank you for watching this evening. 
Thank you for watching this evening. Stay tuned to our future programs on this series of Victims Viewpoint. Now I just have to wait a second until I cut this one. Thank you for watching this evening. I'm Thomas Parisi here for The Jail Paper. Stay tuned to our future episodes of this series of Victims Viewpoint. Thank you for watching. I'm Thomas Parisi here for The Jail Paper and stay tuned to our future episodes of Corruption, Plain and Simple. I'm Thomas Parisi for The Jail Paper. Thank you for watching this today's episode and make sure to stay tuned for the future episodes of Corruption, Plain and Simple.